Hey family, what is going on? This is Brandon with the Brandon Bruce channel. Today we are doing another trucking vlog, day in the life of a local dedicated truck driver. <laughs> Brandon is tired. <laughs> I am tired. I didn't. I did rest. I did get rest. I did sleep. But you know, sometimes your body's just still tired, and you're like, I just want to chill. But of course, we're adults, and we gotta do what we gotta do. And being an adult, you do. You have to do things that you don't actually like sometimes. Now, that's not saying I don't like my job or whatever. I'm just tired. I, don't want, I just don't want to do nothing today. That's it. But uh, I'm going to take you guys along. Along the way. I think it's the weather, though. This weather has been very... It's like one moment they're saying 78 degrees. And then 78 degrees turned to 60 with rain. Like It rained yesterday on my way home dropping the truck off on my way home in my personal car to my house and it was just like what and so yeah <laughs> that's what we're in I guess that's what I get for I live in the Midwest I should expect it but yesterday was actually a good day for driving actually I've been doing good loads this week so we're crushing it and I'm on track. I'm on track to do 2K for this week. And that's gross. So that's what's pushing me. And that's why I've been working harder. Like, minimally, I, I only have to work eight hours. But I'm like, no, I need this money. We're making this money. So, yeah, so we're going, that's what we're pushing for. I don't mind doing the extra stuff. There was one night, it was Friday night. Today is Sunday, by the way. I didn't even get a chance to go to church because when I got home, I don't think I went to sleep till like 4 a.m. And I needed to at least sleep till, at least sleep to 12. So it's literally what time I got up. Then I had to eat, feed Jacks. So yeah, I'm gonna say this. Yeah, I am a local driver, but don't get it twisted. You are still a truck driver. And the truck driver stuff still exists. Yeah, you do a 10-hour at home. Now, you know what? I say some local routes, because I have heard some people. Some local people, they only work like six, seven hours a day. I guess if the work isn't there, then that's what it is. But my position is a little different, because if the load isn't there we can wait and then I get paid to wait and then if I get the load I can do it or whatever so but not only that I'm trying to make the money so that's why <laughs> that's why I'm going the extra mile yesterday I made turkey sandwiches I had snacks and all of that of course if I woke up at 12 cooked breakfast made Jack something to eat like something was gonna get undone and so I, I i didn't make anything to eat today so we're gonna have to grab something while we are on the road today i think i'm going to wing stop because i'm going to order it ahead and there is there's like there's actually three wing stops in the direction that i will be in so we're gonna figure it out and we're gonna pick up a, we're gonna pick up some wings today but uh let me ask you this have you ever felt like you have seasons in your life. Well, it seems like it's the same season. It feels like you just keep building and starting over. Starting over, like you're starting over. And then you starting over and starting over. And you're like, what can I get to the place where I'm not feeling like I'm starting over? Like lit literally has been a trend that has been going on. And um, I even prayed about it and I was like, God, I don't like this. But the revelation behind it that's how you stretch and that's how you grow 
if everything is the same all the time, you don't grow. If you're not going through things, not saying you got to go through bad things, but if you're not going through something, you got to grow. I mean, you won't grow. So I'm having that perspective change and I'm having that perspective shift to understand, hey, in order to grow, some things have to be disrupted a little bit. So uh, next month, actually will make one year from me leaving my job with the government. I worked for uh, GSA, Government Service Administration. Next month will make one year. So you know what that means. I started trucking last year in June. Do you see how the time flies? And I gotta say though, it started shaky, but I'm in a much better place now than I was when I was at the other company, I'm gonna just say that. No shade, I ain't talking about them, whatever, but I am in a whole better place. So I just thank God, you know, he does some amazing things and he knows what you need. So, and like I've always said before, this journey was more than financial. It was more than just, I, my like this shook me up because I felt like I was in a season of comfort uh, I was in the season of being comfortable and playing it safe. And so me doing trucking caused me to, I didn't know anything previously. I didn't like, yeah. So I had to learn all of this and I did it. I did it. Brandon did it, y'all. <laughs> so when I look back, like I go back watching these videos, I'm like, wow, you did that? You did what? <laughs> I shock myself. That's why I also, like, I would encourage whoever also is starting trucking, that you document this. Document your journey. You don't, if you want to do a YouTube channel, you can. If you don't, you don't have to, but you can record it. Record how you were feeling um, while you were on the range learning how to back. While you were uh, I don't know. I don't even know if I'm putting all this in the video. But I just felt like talking to y'all. And also, I'm going to say this. Yesterday, I don't know what yesterday, why, why it consisted like that. But whoever was the spotter or the yard jockey, they kept taking empty trailers from the very end, inside. And so the only way you could put an empty trailer in was that you had to blindside. And if you all don't know, like, I never really, I only blindsided like three times in my whole trucking career because I was taught, hey, put it on your side side. If you can put it on your side side, put it on your side side. So I always will put it on my side side. Well, now that I'm in a day cab to have this nice, lesson of a window in the back <laughs> I have I don't know I have the unction to do it I'll be like oh, let's try to blindside this so yesterday I blindsided twice now the first time I, I it was now that's not my first time blindsiding since I've been here but uh I think I might blindside maybe like twice a week but yesterday I did it back to back and that first time, it was bad. Like, I, I actually got out, got out and looked. I did it, like, three times because I was just like, nah, nah. And then there were two spots that I could have put, put this trailer at on my side side. But I was determined. I was like, nah, wait, hold up. We're going to get this. And then I had time, too. Like, the, the next load wasn't ready. So I was just like, well, I might as well practice, use my time wisely. So I took my time and blindsided and I got it in. And then the second time I got it in just like it was a sight side. And I was like, oh, so like never stop learning. Practice makes you better. So, uh, and I realized that the other night, so that was yesterday, which was Saturday, but even Friday, I even noticed how, uh, efficient my backing has gotten 
because I'll be back in like that night they wanted me to uh I had to move four trailers I had to move four trailers like back to back and the place was only a mile away so I was going back and forth back and forth back and forth and I did four backings and I looked at the clock and I was just like dang it only took me like when I came back and finally was able to pick up my trailer to do my load it had only been like 30 minutes 35 minutes and i was just like wow so i i am i am grateful that i am in a place right now that i can perfect certain things when it comes to driving like especially with trucking like you're i'm still working on things but not only that i can really work on this because this is what i do all day that night literally I backed about seven times, seven times in the whole day. And that's a lot. You guys know over the road, over the road, regional, you don't back that much. You may back once or twice a day, and then you're driving on the road. But being local, oh, you gonna back. And you gotta know how to turn on them little skinny streets. But yeah, all right. I know I done talk like 10 minutes, 11 minutes, but I, I know y'all like me and all, but we're going to get to the truck. When I get to the truck, I'll pick y'all back up. Hey, y'all want to know something? Just that quick, when I was talking to you all and just letting y'all know how I feel and where my headspace was, y'all, I feel so much better. I just got here to the yard and I just realized, I'm just like, I just got energized. So what does that mean, y'all? Sometimes you just got to get that stuff out. Talk to somebody like I'm talking to y'all. Pick up a journal. Pick up a voice recorder. Just get all that stuff out. Yeah, I feel so much better. I'm ready to work. I'm ready to drive a thousand miles. Nah, we ain't doing that. But <laughs> now nah, I just feel much better. I feel like relieved. So we are here. I'm backing up. About to get in the truck. Let's start the work day. trip is all done everything is looking good got my water and got my coffee All right, you all, we are here waiting to get checked in to pick up our empty, and then we are going to get on the road. It is very windy today, so I can just imagine when I hook up to this empty, we're gonna be all over the place. But it started out yesterday like that. But uh, as soon as I get a load, I get a load of trailer, I'll be fine. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you have any experience in driving in the wind. Like I've driven in a lot of bad weather, living in the Midwest driving over to Virginia, driving over to, remember when I was coming from New York, I had, I was in a storm. So, uh, yeah, y'all. So we're gonna get checked in here and we're gonna get our trailer.
right, y'all, let's log in our empty trailer into our workflow, which is vector. All right, we're all set to go. that on camera when uh um, when I'm good <laughs> we practicing trailer around so I'm about to look for it because I know that's not it. So I'm about to drive around.
sets. Y'all good? Let's go connect to this trailer. Actually, let me sign for this already. That's when you know your regular yard guy's not here. Just people cranking and stuff different. Let's look at the lights, make sure they're working. Last four digits. Seal 45, yep, 56 45. Mud flaps are there. Tires looking good. Lights working. Looks like we're ready to get on the road. My truck said that's it. All right, y'all, we are ready to get on the road. I'm praying that it's like this smooth selling all day.
so I can just look back there. I use my mirrors and everything, but when you, when, since I've been in here, I just turn around and look. Be like, where we at? My trailer over there? You doing what you're supposed to be doing? <laughs> All right, y'all. I will see y'all when we get to the next stop. up to our trailer we're about to get out of here let's roll we're about to go pick up our second load What's up y'all okay so we brought our second empty and now i'm waiting on the second load i'm waiting for them to put it in the system and i've ordered me some food i'm getting some wings from wing stop so once it get delivered hopefully the load is ready and then we can go about and do our second load i want to be able to do three loads today but this is the same situation that happened yesterday like i came back for that third load but and then it got to be in like 1 a.m. And usually around 1 a.m. I take off so I can make sure I'm back in time for the other driver. So if it looks like that's what it's gonna be, we might just settle on two. But um, we're gonna see what happens. I'll let y'all know. All right, family, we just hooked up to our trailer back there. You can see it back there. Uh, we're about to go deliver this gonna see if we can push for that third load you know what i think i'm gonna go over there and ask and see hey what's going on but we're gonna try to push for it. it's dark so that's why i'm really not trying to film outside As you see it's dark but all right get back to you guys when we deliver this load all right yeah we are here at pilots i'm gonna fill up for Day. I didn't use that much gas. I still have this load to deliver, but it just makes sense for me to come all the way up here first and then uh, deliver the load and then I can just get back on the road and go to the yard. Uh, I use the Flying J app. I like to do the mobile fueling. If you have your fleet card in here already, you can just it's already in that locked in and then you choose which uh if you're getting def or diesel or reefer thank god i don't have any of those anymore well i don't i don't have the reefer i remember it used to be a time i would have to get all three and i'll be out i'll be out here getting fuel and then i would have to move the truck so i could get to the reefer tank yeah those were the days but today we're only getting diesel we don't need def quite yet so and then it's going to ask for my driver number which is a number that martin recognizes me by uh i think
think at rail they had a driver code, so it was ladders. Then sometimes I do have a trailer tonight. Let's see what this trailer number is. So it asks us for the trailer number and trip number. Most of the time when I do fuel, I don't have a trailer with me, so I don't have to enter this information. Then you enter the mile, which then you press continue. Then they give you this code here. So when I get out, I just need to punch that code in. It's gonna start the front. Like if you are a driver and you have never done that, and you go to Pilot, you go to Loves, I think Pilot loves, I think TA does it too. I did it once there. But instead of having to punch all that information, swipe your card, get all of that. I know some people go old school and write their mouths down on their hand. I'm like, you gotta do all that. Just do it from your phone and they give you a code and you'll be on your way. But all right, I'm about to do fuel and then we're gonna get on the way. day but I am ready to take a nice shower get in the bed and it's only about midnight so I'm gonna try to get home by 12 30. see you guys in the next one thank you for watching make sure you like subscribe and comment let's talk it up and I'll see you in the next one